about 18 months ago, Ruger came out with their uh, single 10 revolver. And it was, uh, to me, it was a great improvement on the old single six. You know, some people might think that's blasphemy, but it's a better gun. I like the way the cylinder lined up, the charge holes lined up better for loading. And it's just, uh, it's a real good, real well-fitted, accurate revolver. And since the day they come out with it, everybody's been wanting one 22 Magnum. And now we got it. I got it right here in this uh, uh, Simply Rugged Cattleman holster from Rob Leahy. Anyway, he makes some real nice holsters to cover these things and carry them around in. Keeps it pretty tight against you, nice and trim. But uh, we'll talk about the gun a little bit. It's, uh, it's pretty much just like the single 10, but it's only got nine chambers in the cylinder and it's chambered 22 Magnum. Which 22 Magnum, you know, most loads out of a handgun will give you about 60% more power than you're getting out of a 22 long rifle. Some of them even better than that. 22 Magnum ammo has really come a long ways in the last few years and they've got uh, uh, some uh, tipped bullet loads and things now starting at about 25 grains running on up to the 15 60 grain range i prefer the 40 hollow points is what i like to shoot uh, usually the pmc predator or the cci some of those things are some of my favorite loads arms core has got a real good uh, 40 grain hollow point load that uh, it's not recommended to use in the Keltec semi-auto because it's pretty hot and opens the slide a little quick but in a revolver like this you can use any 22 mag ammo you want to use and it's a uh, uh, this single line is just, uh, even if you have a single 10, it's a good companion to it. So far, they don't offer a dual cylinder model in these revolvers. Don't know if they will or not, but, uh, you know, I was always the kind, anyway, I didn't switch cylinders a whole lot. I just have another revolver for it. Uh, same way on single sixes. We've got several of those old single sixes and some new single sixes. And I like this new uh, single nine revolver. Like I said, you got nine shocks of 22 mag out of here. This is a six and a half inch barrel. It's got the Williams uh, fiber optic sights on it. The rear side I really like. It's got a good slope to it and it's serrated so it prevents glare on it. Fully adjustable sight and your front has got the fiber optic rod in it also. And it's a square notch rear and a square post front. So when you're looking at it, uh, you get the uh, sight picture of a square post for accurate uh, target type shooting. But if you start getting low light or whatever, starts getting uh, uh, early in the morning or getting right at dusk, you can see your sights a lot better with these green uh, fiber rods in here, which gives you a three-dot sight picture. Anyway, it's a real good, accurate, reliable um, single six. You know, it's pretty much uh, the same action and all as the new model single six. It's just, uh, it holds nine, it's stainless steel. It's got some nice uh, slim gunfighter style grips on it. I like these a lot better than the ones that flare out at the bottom more. This feels real good in my hand. and. Uh, they, they fit really well. They've got a little stud between there so you won't pull out the screw. A little sleeve that uh, so when you tighten the grip you can tighten it down really well but it's not going to uh, pull out your furrow on the other side and mess your grips up. Anyway, Ruger did some thinking on this. They did it upright. It's got a good long ejector rod stroke on it. Uh, and it's available from Sturm Ruger and they're available now.